What the while loop does is that it takes a condition inside its brackets and it executes a block of code inside its braces that is defined by the programmer. So the format goes like this. So you need to call the while keyword first and it is followed by a bracket where you place all your conditions and then it is then followed on by curly braces. Inside the curly braces we place all our codes. So generally what this means is that while this condition is true then execute this block of code but while this condition is false then stop the execution of this code this is simply what the while loop does so let us have a look how we can implement this in our script we will first look at how to use a variable a variable defined by us and then we'll also look at how to eliminate the usage of CF output tags that we learned earlier there is a new function in cold fusion called write output that is a built-in function which helps us to replicate all the necessities all the things that we require by the CF output tag just by using it inside our CF script tag so let's have a look first we need a new page and we need to save it as while loop.cfm and here we go we start off with our usual CS script and in this script we won't be including any other tags just the CF script will be our tags for this while loop.cfm so let's finish this and let us declare a variable and initialize it with the value of 0 and now we'll start off with our while loop and we'll place a condition that will say I must be less than 11 and now we're going to use our write output built-in function so I'm going to also use another new operator called the concatenation operator in other languages and it's also a concatenation operator but the syntax is quite different so how does it differ first off this write output function will output everything that the condition permits to output and then it will use this ampersand symbol which is also and and it will tell the compiler that print each of the numbers in a separate line and then we go on incrementing so let us now save this don't worry I'll explain the entire script after I show you how it works so let us now save this and go back to our browser and let us write the name and here we go our script is running successfully and it's printing all the numbers starting from 0 and ending at 10 so let us now analyze what the code does to our script so first we go on assigning the value of 0 to our new variable that we named as i we, you can also name it as index but for short I named it as i so it's just the same thing so then we go on using the while keyword and this while keyword is telling the compiler we're starting our while loop from here and then we go on assigning or declaring our uh, uh, condition inside our while loop so what this entire while loop condition will evaluate is it must evaluate to the boolean value of true it must always be true if it reaches the point where it evaluates to the boolean value of false then the code inside this braces won't execute anymore so that's why we have seen that we do not get anything after the uh, value of 10 inside our browser so the next thing that we look at is what happens when we read this entire while loop literally so when we read it literally while the value of i, the value inside the uh, variable i is less than 11 then go on outputting the value and then when you output the value for once then add 1 to this value this is also like saying i equals to i plus 1 or in other words it's also like saying i equals to 
addition compound assignment one so it means add one to the previous value of i the previous value of i the for the first time contained zero so it will add one and then it goes back to this while statement again and it looks whether the value of i is still less than 11 if it is then it prints out the value of i which now is one and then it adds another one to the value of i and it becomes two after it becomes two then it again goes back to the while statement and it checks whether the value is still less than 11 if it is then again it goes on printing the value of i which is two and then again adding one to that two and it becomes three then again it goes back to this while statement and it iterates again and again and again until it reaches the end and when it reaches the end we mean that uh, it reached 11 when it reaches 11 as you can see this is a less than symbol it won't print 11 but when it reaches 11 it sees that it has reached 11 and now it needs to stop and it can't print the value 11 because this is not uh, less than equals to we are not using less than equals to but we are using only less than so when we use less than the value cannot be 11 anyway so it must be less than 11 so what it can be it can be 10 so it goes on printing all the values from 0 to 11 so each time it iterates this variable value uh, contains a new value inside it rather than the previous value it updates itself and erases the previous value so this is how the while statement, the while loop works. We are going to look at how the do while loop works. The do while loop is quite similar, but it's also quite different because it first goes on executing the block of code, then it checks whether the condition is met. So how do we do it? So the do while loop, as the name implies, also uses the while statement to check for its condition. But the do while loop, it first goes on executing the block of code as I've said, it, it goes on executing the block of code and then it checks using this while conditioning. So let us now look at a practical example for the do while loop. We'll be using all these values, the same values, and we'll look at what happens to our script. So let us now open up a new one. And we need to save it first. Let us save it as do while dot cfm and let us now start with the cf script tag and in this tag we are going to use the same variable here and initialize it with the value of zero and now the format of the do while loop starts with the keyword do and it is followed by the curly braces unlike the previous one we are not using any sort of conditioning after the do keyword so we use the same built-in function and we are going to output our variable value in here and we're going to concatenate with the HTML br tag and let's end this statement with the semicolon the while statement must always come after the curly braces inside when we are coding our do while loop so let us now define the same condition and this time remember unlike the previous time when we used our while statement we did not use or end this statement with a semicolon but for the do while statement we need to end the while statement with the semicolon now let us save this and I forgot to add the increment operator this two plus symbols these two addition symbols are named as increment operators but when we want to use the two negative or the two sub subtraction symbols it is called the decrement operator it just does the uh, it does the opposite thing of what the increment operator does the increment operators goes on adding one each time but the decrement operator goes on subtracting one from the uh, value each time so let us for now use the increment operator and stick to it and let us save this and see what happens to our script we named it as do while 
I think you can clearly see that our script, the front part of, of our script or what we are going to show to our client or users stays the same. There's no change in here, but there's a change in our coding. And we also talked about the decrement operator, using the decrement operator. So how can we use that decrement operator? We just do the opposite stuff. So let us now assign 11 to our variable i and use the decrement operator instead. And let us also change this condition and i must be